morning guys. I have literally just woken up and I am going to go for a run in a little bit so I'm just making a smoothie and I thought I would introduce this vlog as I do so. So hi, hello. I've got really bad morning voice at the moment. I have found that I uh, do the best or I have the best intentions when I literally just get up, throw on running clothes and do what I've got to do straight away in the morning. So that's what I've been doing recently. It is a bit of a struggle, uh, I have to say, because I'm pretty much still asleep right now. But uh, yeah, I am making a smoothie right now to kind of wake me up and give me some energy. I feel like a lot of people have their smoothies or their shakes or their juices after they work out and that potentially is the better way to do it i'm not sure about sports nutrition uh, as much as i should be probably but uh, i find especially when i go for a long run i can't do it unless i have something in me so i have got a banana in there i'm just gonna chuck in some oats as well this is kind of um kind of inspired by the Oshi Glows Green Goddess smoothie, which I used to have all the time. It's so good, it's so simple as well. But I'm gonna put a few extra things in just to give me some energy. So I've got spinach in there. And then I've also got this protein powder. Protein powder is quite hard to find when you're looking for plant-based ones. So I've gone for this uh, organic pea protein. It doesn't taste of anything too funky. I find sometimes Protein powders can have a really weird taste to them. Oops. Just put that all over my worktop. They're kind of like sweet and sickly and they just make smoothies taste kind of gross. So I quite like this one because it doesn't have a taste. So I've got that in there. Some chia seeds as well. If I can open the packet, just a few. And what am I missing? Oh yes, almond butter the most important ingredient. I really think almond butter in smoothies makes them taste like cake. This smoothie to me, although it has fruit and a lot of spinach, I think putting almond butter in makes it taste like cake batter, which, you know, I'm not opposed to drinking. I think it's the banana as well that does that mixing in with it, but it tastes pretty good. I'm gonna throw in some, oh, I'm out of almond milk. That's not good. Right, I've got one here. So I'm gonna put some ice cubes in it as well, just because it is hot today. And normally I would put my bananas in the freezer and uh, blend them from there, but I forgot to do that. So let's do a cup of almond milk. Now I've got to really awkwardly open this one too. There we go. I am going to drink this now and I have about 20 pages of my book left, not a lot. So I'm going to finish that and then this will go gone down and I'm going to go out for a run. I am really enjoying this by the way, this is Cirque by Madeline Miller. It's so good and I wish I hadn't finished it so quickly. I will let you guys know when I finished it what I thought of it. Just got up and made myself some lunch because I'm flagging, I'm so hungry. I made myself a little like vegan salad -y sushi bowl. There's no sushi in this. I call it a sushi bowl because it's got uh, chickpea tuna in it. This is something that I started making a little while ago and it's so good. I'm not a massive fan of tuna, never really was, but this stuff tastes amazing. It's basically chickpeas mashed up with some tahini, which is um, sesame seeds basically. Lemon juice, uh, some salt and pepper, and then the star ingredient. The thing that kind of makes it taste like tuna is a sheet of nori, which is a sheet of dried seaweed, and so, so good. So I've just put it in a little bowl with some salad bits, some hummus, um, way too many edamame beans. I'm not sure what I was thinking there. I love these, they're so addictive. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be my little lunch, even though it's not really lunchtime. I'm just quite packish. literally just been snacking on a chocolate bar. Uh, this was not the best time to start vlogging. Uh, these, by the way, these are so good. This is the best chocolate bar I've ever eaten, vegan or not vegan, and it is vegan. It's so good, it tastes like Nutella. Anyway, hi, hi guys. Um, 
so i uh it's been a little while since i came back from my run and it's turned into a bit of a crappy day if i'm honest it's raining now and pretty gross really i'm really struggling to feel motivated today um especially let me just clear up these little chocolate crumbs especially now that the weather's kind of turned it, it just makes me feel very uh lethargic and like i don't want to do anything but sit down which is not an option for today so i thought i'd just share that with you my little struggle for motivation this afternoon um yeah, so what I've been doing is I asked on Instagram uh, when I announced that I was doing I Cover June what you guys wanted to see, if there was anything that um, you might want me to do that I haven't thought of already. I've already made a pretty set plan for what I will be filming this month, but I just wanted to see if there was anything else that you guys really wanted. So I've, um, I've just made a little list of everything. Lots of questions about living in London. Um, a day in the life of moon, which I love the idea of. It would pretty much be just, I was trying to see where she is. Yeah, sleeping under the kitchen table. That's all she does all day. Um, and uh, a lot of you guys wanted to see sort of like outfit videos, capture wardrobe videos, things like that, which I have already got planned, do not worry. Uh, lots of things about eating, uh, plant-based food, meals, recipe ideas, and running too. So that sounds like something that'll be good to incorporate into one whole video. I'll, uh, I'll give you a quick running tip though that I learned this morning. Never ever forget to bring or actually to put on your lip balm before you leave. I didn't put lip balm on this morning, stupidly, and I, I've realized, I've come to realize now that I hate running without lip balm. I just can't do it, it feels so strange. There you go, there's a little quick tip. Always remember your lip balm before you go for a run. So as I am doing now, um, the rest of the day is gonna be pretty much an admin day. And I feel it's gonna be like this quite often. I've got a lot of editing to do, and that is gonna be the case because I am uploading four times a week. And um, I haven't actually got Sam at the moment. Sam has been on tour, kind of on and off throughout the last couple of months, which is very cool for him and his band. I think, I think they're in Europe at the moment. I wanna say they're in Amsterdam, but I don't know if that's true. Anyway, they've been doing some cool things, but uh, unfortunately he's been taking a lot of time off working, so I have been back on the editing, which I don't mind, I do enjoy a good edit, it's just very time consuming and I find myself sitting at my desk all day editing instead of actually filming the videos, which is kind of the whole point of Sam being there, is to do all the long tedious bits so I can actually film things. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, admin -y days throughout the week and I will try and film them. Um, and make them as entertaining as I can do. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna be here for the foreseeable. I also might go make myself a cup of tea because I've started on this now. I've started munching it and it would be excellent, I think, with the addition of a nice brew. There she is, sleepy as usual. Look like you're working. Somebody's got to work around here. <laughs> well, someone's got to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone does. And it's not you. You do nothing. She's literally slept all day long, apart from our walk. She has done nothing but nap. What's new? What is new? kitchen shelf why not okay hope you don't fall off so morning guys i uh i've been tasked with <coughs> we're making coffees this morning oh it's very full 
Uh, I've been tasked with making the coffees uh, and Joe has willingly gone out and got us some pastries, which is awfully nice of him. Uh, so yeah, he's out to get those and I'm um, just gonna make us some coffees while he does that. I think I've said that three times now. Wow, that kettle is loud. So I might just let that boil first before I start talking. So I'm hoping it's gonna be quite a nice day today. It feels quite sunny and I'm hoping it's not gonna be like yesterday, which ended up being rainy and horrible. We actually ended up going to a spin class uh, yesterday. My first ever spin class, I hadn't done one before, and it was, uh, I was kind of nervous to go. It was my idea, uh, and I texted you on Friday and asked him if he wanted to do it together, because I needed a little spin buddy. And um, yeah, we went quite early yesterday morning, we went out. 9.45 I think our class started, that's not really early, but for a Saturday morning it felt like it. I feel like this week has been, uh, actually this vlog has been very much about eating and exercising. So we've uh, we had some pizza in the week and some other bits and usually I'll take the weekend off and I won't do anything uh, exercise wise on the weekend. I felt like maybe we should uh, try something new, so yeah, it was quite... Um, different than I was expecting, so it was a proper um, spin class with the dark room and the lights and the music, really really intense and quite a weird setting to be in uh, if you're not used to, so it's kind of just like a room full of people who can't see each other, lots of flashing lights, feels like you're in a club. I have never sweated so much in my entire life, I came out absolutely dripping, at one point I just had to grab a towel and like pat myself down because I was so so warm, but I feel like that's um, it's probably a good sign that I did the workout, so I'm happy, I'm happy about that. Came out actually feeling really good, didn't feel like... I was struggling to walk. My legs do feel a little bit like jelly when I got off the bike. Um, but I did not have a Bridget Jones moment where I fell off of it completely. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go back actually. I think we might make it like a little weekend thing when we when we feel up to it and we haven't had a particularly heavy Friday night. I am feeling it this morning though. Um, it's like the sides of my bum, they, they, they hurt. Uh, but I think that's all good things. So today is a Sunday. Uh, but it's gonna be more of a working day. I'm gonna be pretty much in the house, I think, for most of the day. I've got some stuff to film and um, I'll be editing that as well. So hopefully they will have some time to just escape for a little bit. No doubt it'll be something involving food. Speaking of food, where is Joe with the pastries? Come on, man, I'm a hungry girl. Um, it looks quite nice now outside. It looks like we might be able to sit up there and eat. We've yet to have uh, breakfast outside in the flat since we've moved here, so hopefully that's how we can spend our morning. Uh, anyway, I am going to go and take these outside, and that is all I have to report for now. I will see you guys in a bit. You pretend that you're driving. No, but you're just not in this shot. We're on what seems to be an almost weekly trip to the farmer's market now. Uh, it's not even really a massive market, it just has a lot of food. So uh, yeah, we're actually taking the car because we're lazy. We're not lazy, we have things to do that we should be doing instead of going out to get food. But there we go, we were hungry. So we're gonna go and drive up to the farmer's market. It's really hot in here, hot today. So, uh, oh, I'm lying on my stomach and it really shouldn't be because we just had a Chinese and watched Love Island and I just feel like I'm very, very full. There's nothing quite like watching people walk around in bikinis uh, looking amazing for an hour while you're sitting there stuffing your face. Also, while well, most likely wearing pyjamas, sweatpants. Oh, hiya. Have you just been having a late night snack? I could hear you eating in the background. Um, 
yes i i hope you've enjoyed this vlog thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all again uh on wednesday which will be the next i cover june i'm getting very distracted by the dog right now are you gonna jump up or are you gonna stare at me for the next five minutes Mm. This is a game she likes to play, which is called Pick Me Up, I'm Too Lazy to Jump. Now she's looking very sad and sorry for herself. I know you can do it, and now you don't have to be picked up. Okay, you're just going to scratch your face, that's fine. Okay, I will leave you all here, that is quite enough of that. Um, what was I saying? I'm trying to say goodbye. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye.